All right. I'll be sure for one more baby a quaba. Sabri and from our channel is so ha. Hey, Nim Dino, since someone else cost so or my gun and would did can't did it? Did you hear? You're trying to say, dear, na a in Chirimono and a ye de a sum. Now, yeni na yeni or my gun, a batua, a bell cost so a jacina, a dear bow, a dear bow, a jano, a nya abitru. Now, a jana nya abitru say no, nanya gana for ye a quatre ya drink. Uh, I dear Fasse, why and a any or my gana any kind for the next four years? Now, I don't know that is a major decision, and I said that is a big question. You see, we say why you can't answer a year 7th December. Now, looking at the election, one of the strongholds of the NDC, uh, yeah, and I said the stronghold of the NDC, and I can say voter region, but then looking at this election, no, this is no matter you are done. Now, to talk of this one, honorable. Uh, John Peter Mew, ah, or no, a year MP, a war, a year ho hoi constituency. It was on for Sabre, near my yardani, oh, near Pesiri, said Sabre, dear near Coso, in the strongholds of the NDC. And now, currently, what is happening? Uh, dear the trustee, uh, talking of the election, uh, even before Sabre Coco Torban, he said, send in a new man, a C. A. Coyenia Brennan, man from Fancy Mumu. Yeah, 
leadership to also speak about violence and political fraudulency using targery and monetization sharing of money printing of fake ballot papers and all of you that will encourage the MPP to shun that strategy because it's outmoded we are at a point in time when 
our work should speak for us. Ghanaians are very discerning. In the last eight years, if they have done their work well, they shouldn't be printing ballot, fake ballot papers. They shouldn't be preparing taggery. They shouldn't be sharing broad day money. Agako, you have spoken against monetization a number of times. The MPP is in the news for the very bad reasons of the same offense. They are sharing money as if Ghanaians don't have a problem. Mm. And the, NDC, and the NDC has never shared money, right? Well, I will not say that we have never done that. But these are condemnable actions. I, I remember the Ejura incidents. You and right. I together condemned it. But this time, they have given one million CDs to each parliamentary candidate to go and share, as if Ghana doesn't have a problem. How did you come by this information? Come again, please. How did you come by this information? Where's your, your, your proof to back it up? I, I will confirm. Only yesterday or today. I doubt, were, I doubt uh, you will. They were, anyway. paying, they were paying <laughs> accumulated one year areas of nurses training trainees. And the mm. question is that these are people who have told you and I in the last seven years, but they are the ones who are paying nurses training allowance. Why are they paying accumulation? And I've said on your studio, your show, that the MPP have not been able to pay nurses training allowances. They deny. Now they are paying it. And Yagba will have to confirm on that one also. Now, you should also be expecting a final cap on the big agenda. The big agenda, which is our developmental agenda. The president will highlight that and then also make a statement of collaboration with all Ghanaians, private sector, to drive this economy, to revive the country, and to see Ghanaians develop. Ghana is going to be better. Ghana is going to grow. Everyone will be happy. Look, the euphoria, the direction, if you gauge the mood of the country, clearly, Ghanaians are up for a change and ready to do so. We urge our colleagues in the MPP right. to understand that they've been in government for quite eight years. It's enough. In fact, it is natural that every eight-year cycle will change the government in Ghana. Quite apart from that, they haven't performed. We've seen a whole lot of things, including corruption including on ethical, political behavior. Okay. If Ghanaians have decided not to vote for them, they should accept it and go and rebrand them. All right, Mustafa, so, so let's hold it there. I'll come back to you on, on a quick point, but I, let me go to Richard Ahiagba first. You say it's what? It's natural that after eight years, I, I, I don't know. They say they want to break the eight. That is the new patriotic party. But Richard Ahiagba, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Mr. Ahiagba? Yes, I can hear you well. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you for joining the conversation uh, this morning. Now, uh, two issues that have been raised by uh, Mustafa Gbande. I just want to run them quickly by you. One, he says each of your MPs has been given one million Ghana cities uh, to, you know, distribute and also aid influence the elections. And secondly, he says you are now running to uh, nursing trainees and paying their allowances. I've also seen some rhetoric about some police officers getting their promotions ahead of today and all of that. Uh, it suggests some sort of way of influencing the outcome of the elections. Mustafa Gbande asked me to put that to you. Uh, how, what, what is the veracity of these claims? Well, thank you very much, uh, my brother, and uh, to uh, Mustafa and to all your viewers this morning. Um, I've been in Ketu South for the past uh, uh, three months in and out. I've been here and I'm here as we speak in Ketu South. What we are doing, other than what uh, my good brother uh, Mustafa is saying, is that we're canvassing. Just this morning, I took a bit longer to come on the line because there's a long line of people out there uh, in my house asking for t-shirts asking for campaign paraphernalia to go out and canvas. That's what we're doing. They will have a shock of their lives here in Ketu South because the lies that they've used to fool the people here for far too long, the people are waking up to it. Mm. They are nowhere to be seen in Ketu South. You don't see them canvassing anywhere since we started telling the people the truth. Their hope here is that somehow the people vote for them, but we are on to their tricks and that's not going to happen again this time. So Mustafa, uh, it is not natural that 
somebody will just vote for a political party who will not serve their interests. The people are waking up to the responsibility they have and to the privilege they have to select who can serve them the best. And they are willing to make a choice this time for their own good and not for the good of any political party. So you can tickle yourselves and be excited and forget the voter regime to be a given for you. On election day, you'll see that things are not going to be the same as you've always had it. Richard, are you saying that the MPP is winning K2 South? There's going to be a, a post of result on election day if, if, that, if the numbers come together uh, as quickly as we expect on the 7th. They are going to see a different look in the Kentucky South and largely in Volta region that they've never seen before. A, a quick one on the ballot papers. The EC has had to recall, in fact, we've had some situations which has led to uh, special voting. As far as I remember, I've never ha heard of special voting extending to another day. But for the first time, special voting in the eastern and western regions being uh, commuted for another day, which is actually uh, today. But Mustafa Bande made a claim about fake ballots, uh, fake ballot papers, among others. And I want to find out from you, as far as you are concerned, uh, do you have any worries about that situation when it comes to ballot papers? I, I, I'm sure you also saw that uh, the spokesperson for the Baumia campaign, Dennis Miracles Abwaji, posted some ballots uh, a few days ago, which he deleted. He came on my show and said that those were sample ballots and all that. And that on election day proper, he will post others again. Do you have any concerns with these? Look, I'll be very, very honest with you that where we have gotten to in the evolution of electoral processes, these things cannot find their way into mainstream uh, citizen voting. People can try their skirmishes, people can do things, but it's going to be almost impractical to do that. What I think we should focus on is how vigilant we can be. At the polling station where in broad daylight, in open space, where citizens are going out there one person after another, casting their ballots and putting in the box and the glare view of everyone, that should be our focus.